All right, these prices are ridiculous. What's up, guys? My name is on Cage Games. Welcome back. Yes, back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today, we got uh, not the greatest thing to cover. Uh, we're talking about some new items added to the shop and uh, how ridiculous the prices are for these items listen i love mortal kombat all right you guys know uh i always praise them when they earn the praise but when there's something i don't like i gotta talk about it and today we got one of the things i don't like so let's talk about it so if you go to the store uh they added some new items for their halloween update we got the cannibal killer skin from alina we got the sub zero b juan and then the scorpion scorpion ox skin right but they added some new items in the rotating uh, part of the premium items. And this is where it gets a little ridiculous. Because if you look, these are the rotating items for the Halloween update. You can see a little green and orange on Baraka. We got green and orange throughout all these characters. right? We got Rain. Uh, we got Natara. Uh, we got Kung Lao. All ho Hollows, Kung Lao. Um, we got the Deadly Lion Scorpion skin back in here and then we got happy halloween a fatality which my webcam is covering let me let me show you guys really quick we got the happy halloween uh fatality that you can get also some other items here but we're talking about this one you can purchase the happy halloween fatality for 1200 what is it called dragon crystals or whatever for a fatality. Now, I believe the conversion from Dragon Crystals to real money is 1,200 Dragon Crystals is equivalent to like $10. So, $10 for a fatality. What is this fatality going to get me? Like, uh, instant win? Is it guaranteed victory? Like, how good can this fatality be that it costs about $10? Now, I'm all for paying and supporting you know uh the developers for skins and all that or something really awesome i mean i bought the cannibal killer melina skin i don't even play melina but like that skin is freaking sweet now the crazy thing is this awesome looking melina skin which has different color shaders also so it's not just one skin you're getting this skin and then a uh, bunch of different colors this skin cost about 800 dragon crystals 800 so why in the world is this halloween fatality 1200 way more than this awesome molina skin i don't understand it i don't understand it again i don't even know what this fatality looks like but there's no way in jose does this fatality should cost this much all right here's what i'm saying if they were going to add this fatality in the game um maybe have it as like a halloween bundle if you pay this bundle like 1200 you can get the johnny cage halloween mansion the cannibal killer melina skin this fatality and like that would be cool that would make more sense but charging 1200 for a fatality which you do like once or twice and then you don't do it again that is that is absurd that is absurd now i want i actually want to know what this fatality looks like so we're going to go on trusty dusty youtube and find this fatality and watch it because there's no way that i'm buying i love again i love nrs i love mortal kombat but dragon crystals are expensive and i do not want to spend my dragon crystals on a fatality especially one that costs 1200 now if this fatality costs like like 500 like the rest of these Whew! i'll be more inclined to buy it 1000 more than this epic melina cannibal killer skin that blows my freaking mind all right let's go and check out this what what this fatality actually looks like all right so we found the video it's from i suck at shooting shout outs to them uh happy halloween fatality all right let's see let's see if this fatality is actually worth the hubbub of 1000 200 drag crystals 
Let's go. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Dang. Okay. All right. Okay, that fatality was actually kind of sick. But again, I don't think I would spend 1,200 dragon crystals for this fatality. Like, it's cool, and that's awesome. I love the, you know, going to a different map, and it hits a door. But, like, after a couple of times, it's kind of over. So, uh, what, would, I spend, would I spend my money on this? Uh, again, no. Very cool, though. I like how the newspaper says Earthrealm News. That's pretty sweet. And in the front of their door, uh, we got the Havoc. A little animatronic, and we got the Scorponok animatronic. So, pretty cool, but... Again, I don't think it's worth 1,200 Dragon Crystals, all right? Make it like 500 and I would buy it, but 1,200 is so crazy. It's so crazy. Why? Well, what do you guys think about this fatality? Do you think it's worth 1,200? Again, I think it's a cool fatality, but for that much money, it's kind of crazy. Uh, at least if you pay the 1,200, Give this fatality and then all those green and orange skins in the rotating shop. Maybe that's more worth it. But like, again, a, a move or a, a fatality that you're going to do a couple times and then you're not going to do it again. It's I don't think it's worth $10. Like, is the DLC characters... The, I think that's the price of a DLC character. So are you going to pay that much for a DLC character or a fatality? Trying to wrap my head around it. Nether Realm, love you. Don't love the high price for this fatality. It's cool, but I think just watching it here was good enough. I'm not gonna spend the ten dollars. That's it's a lot. That's a lot. Like if you can earn dragon crystals from invasion mode or something, maybe it'll be more worth it. Also, uh, but I think dragon crystals you can only get by paying. So. I'll be saving my Dragon Crystals for another occasion. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about this? Now you want to know what's something awesome for this Halloween update that's free? Aaron Black riding a Roomba in Johnny Cage's mansion. That is freaking awesome. But this? Nah. Sorry. Love you. But I don't, I don't approve of this high price for the fatality. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Let me know all your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Mine's on Cage Games and you just got K. MK1 Tremor Cameo is the first cameo to have variations in the game, which is nuts. That That's crazy that we are going to get a cameo that's pretty much a rip.